Hi, Dr. Sammy here, the emotion doctor. I am here to share with you the number one recommended book I recommended in my practice in 2022. Let me show you. This is it. It didn't start with you. How Inherited Family Trauma Shapes Who We Are and How to End the Cycle by Mark Wollum. Number one book recommended in 2022 in my practice. Let me tell you why. So let's start first with why would someone pick up this book? So let's say life has been challenging and you're realizing things about yourself that you're trying to understand. You've been looking inward and looking inward, you're discovering that you need to fix some things. Uh, once you look inside, you're like, I don't know if I like this thing, this thing about myself. You're realizing that this, uh, whatever this thing is, has become a thing and you really don't know what to do about it. Uh, the thing isn't going away. It's actually getting bigger and presenting literally everywhere in your life and becoming a problem. Uh, and actually, the more you look at it or the more you avoid it or the more you might try to move through it, it just feels completely out of your control. It feels bigger than you. What is this I'm talking about? Well, this could be many things. It could be anxiety, just crippling anxiety, overwhelmment. It can be anger. It could be guilt, shame a paralyzing insecurity of just not being able to move forward or even feel confident in any decision that you make. Everybody at some point will get a, a thing that they just, it's just seems like it's ruining their life and it's bigger than them and it's outside of their control. So then that always leads to the question of where is this coming from? Why am I constantly feeling this way? Why can't I seem to break free from it? What do I do? And that ask the question, who, who am I if this is, this is taking over my life? All of these questions, if this sounds like you, if you sound like you have ever gone down this road or are constantly going down this road, this is the road I went down, which is why I found this book. And this book answers and explains these questions to me through trauma. And trauma is a word we've all heard. Uh, and if we've done any kind of self-work, we understand that it it's a thing, right? But this book looks at it as trauma rewriting our DNA. So when something happens to us, it creates an imprint on our DNA. And that DNA is then changed because of that experience. And then when you think of it in that manner, you understand that this meaning this that we're experiencing right now could actually be something that other generations have experienced as well. And then your mind goes, whoa, where did it start? Well, then where did it start? If it's here in me and it could have been in a generation before me and a generation before that, where did it start? And I'm not sure if it really matters exactly where it starts, except for it matters that it didn't start with you. So it's a, it's an imprint and a pattern of rewriting of the DNA that's now being expressed in your lifetime from things that previous generations may have suffered from. And that gives us a little bit of explanation of why it does feel slightly out of our control. But once we understand these things and we realize that many of us are reliving the tragedies from previous generations and just have not made the link, this book opens up your awareness to just exactly that. And it then begins to answer the question, why am I this way? And from an intellectual standpoint, the beginning of the book uh, really goes into neuroscience and the understanding of what is happening so we can uh, uh, realize why it's presenting in our life. And what it really does is it gets you thinking, thinking not only about yourself, but your parents, your kids, how you are a parent. Um, and then it, it gets you thinking to like, what is my patterns from my traumas and what are maybe 
patterns from my mom or from my great grandmother. And so just really gets to thinking and kind of expanding, not to displace blame at any mean, by any means, but merely to trace things back and regain a sense of control. And I say sense of control because the second part of the book is we're actually going to be presented a tool or a process that this is this is not your fate forever. Um, we have the ability to change, becoming aware is the first step. And then there's a process in which we look at these things and kind of tease them out and work through them so that we can find relief from them in our own lives. And we don't have to kind of succumb to the energy of the generations before us, uh, which is exactly what we're looking for when living this life it is an empowerment and a, a freedom to choose uh, our own life. So it gives you that tool. And then lastly, uh, it's a very self-reflective uh, last part of the book where you get to apply the tool to whatever it is that you're dealing with and, and kind of moves you through that process uh, so that you can treat yourself and find and gain some relief. I absolutely love this book. It did take a while to get through merely because I needed to think about the things in between the lessons and, and, and the, like the concepts that I was presented. Um, I didn't necessarily go all the way back into like genealogy and things like that, but it just really opened my mind and I had to sit and think. And then when doing anything, when applying it to yourself becomes challenging because it brings up a lot of things, things you may not have discovered before or known. And then also feelings that could come along with those things that you really had never been there before. So take some time, give yourself some time to kind of unpack this. Um, there is many ways that you can uh, consume this information. Uh, I have, a, I'll put a link in the bottom to uh, the actual tangible book. I like audibles. Uh, I also will put a link to written summaries and uh, any way you want to kind of take in this information so that you can begin thinking about your own current situation and maybe get a different insight or perspective on whatever it is that you're dealing with um, and how to further unpack or heal a layer or gain relief, especially if this isn't an area that you've ever um, been introduced to. So I'm all about stretching the mind. I'm all about stretching the body. Uh, I hope that in listening to this and checking out this book, this stretches your mind as much as it did mine. It definitely changed my perspective. Um, and so that's why I felt the need to share it with all of you guys and um, stay tuned for more uh, mind stretching uh, books, ideas, and concepts uh, that I recommend in my practice on a daily basis. Uh, these things are meant as tools um, to help get us unstuck. So stay tuned. Thank you for listening. It's Dr. Sammy. I am the emotion doctor.